Hello, I'm Delusion Dispeller. I'm going to talk to you more about borderline personality disorder today from the book Stop Walking on Eggshells. And this day I'm going to be talking to you about how a non-borderline person thinks and what the truth really is. So if you are in a relationship with somebody that have, has borderline personality disorder, these are ways that you might be thinking about your situation but then I'm going to counter that with what is really true about your situation. So first of all, a non-BPD thinks it's my fault that the relationship is not working. The truth is both people make or break any relationship. The non-borderline thinks I make them act that way. I make the borderline furious with me. I make them act sneaky. I make them do what they do. The truth is the borderline's disorder makes them act the way that they do. A non-borderline thinks, I need to fix this. The truth is, this could cause the borderline to think that they can't themselves manage their own life if you're always stepping in and trying to fix. It also can make you become codependent and neglect yourself. The non-borderline thinks, I need to persuade the borderline that I am right about this situation. The truth is, the borderline personality disorder affects a borderline in a way that you will not be able to talk them out of or into a belief or an action. The non-borderline thinks, if I can just convince them that their suspicions, their paranoia isn't really true about me, then they'll trust me again and we'll have a good relationship. The truth is, not trusting people is part of borderline personality disorder. And it's not based on anything you do or don't do. It's about the borderline person. The non-borderline thinks, I love and I care for this borderline person, so I just have to let them abuse me. The truth is, self-love means self-care. And abuse is never okay from anyone, including a person with borderline personality disorder. The non-borderline person thinks, ah, uh, poor borderline person, they can't help what they do, so it's okay to let them get by with this. The truth is, a person with borderline personality disorder can learn how to control their actions toward people with the proper help, such as dialectic behavioral therapy. The non-borderline person feels that borderlines have a problem with boundaries and that the boundaries will upset the borderline so they don't want to go there. The truth is all relationships need boundaries because as Dr. Phil would say, you teach people how to treat you and it's very true. The non-borderline feels I need to be 100% accepting of everything this borderline person does. The truth is accepting the person is one thing, accepting the behavior is totally another. Some people call borderlines border lions. Now, Randy Krieger, who wrote this book, the author of Stop Walking on Eggshells, claimed that a border lion is literally like a lion. They have two parts to them. They have an outward part where the claws come out through their raging and their abusive words and the physical violence. And they also have an inward part which means they turn the anger inward through self-harm, threatening to kill themselves. Copyright 2008 by Krieger Randy. An ouch for a non-borderline personality person means a loss of self-esteem because they're in a relationship with a borderline personality. <clears throat> a lot of times the insults, the criticisms, and the accusations from somebody with BPD can cause you to hate yourself, to really start believing that you're an awful person and that you deserve all of this mistreatment that you're going through. But you really don't. That's the key point. You don't deserve to be abused. And if you're in a relationship with somebody that has borderline personality disorder, it's a good idea to encourage them to get help. Sometimes it means detaching from the relationship while still in the relationship, and other times it's a really great idea for you to get out and find brighter horizons if the person with the disorder refuses to do what they need to do to work on their issues. Nobody deserves to be abused, including you. Thanks for watching, and I will continue on with 
borderline personality disorder, and bite-sized pieces. Thanks for watching. See you next time.